Three, what, two, one, y'all. <laughs> what, what is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osman. I'm your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I'd like to introduce my lovely co-host, Julie Mitchell and Leah Matthews. How y'all doing, ladies? Hey, good to see you guys again. Hi. Well, guess what? Guess what today is? It's a what? big day. Today. It's such a you big day. You don't say. Come what on now. It? Come on now. Take a guess. <laughs> Well, uh, it's Thursday. There you go. There you go. No, no, it's it, Chief it, Chat Day. It is Chief Chat Day. We've had three this week, and this is our hundredth episode. Woo! So big, huge round of applause. We were gonna have cake and balloons, but we're in the middle of the snowvid. But hey, I got I got my gummy bears. <laughs> These are my celebratory gummy bears. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so, I had the gummy bears. A- absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so for me personally, I want to thank uh, my co-hosts, Julie Mitchell and Leah Matthews, because they are the brain power behind this show. Um, uh, Leah does all the promos and, and, and Julie does a lot of the scripts and, and she gets all the stuff together. And, and everyone on the corporate communications team that, that, that helps support the show, we got folks waiting on you guys to comment so they can comment back. Like we got people that are, <laughs> that, that are dedicating their lives, blood, sweat, and tears to, to make sure that this is a, 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 a quality uh, broadcast. And I also want to thank uh, Chief Mass Sergeant uh, Louis, Louis Reyes for being the you know, the, one of the originators, the original chief for Chief Chat. Mm-hmm. So a uh, uh, big shout out to him and just everybody and all the viewers who've been supporting us uh, for the past hundred episodes. But there's well, no- Well, Chief, ve- yes. you didn't, we we didn't know about this. I didn't know I needed like an acceptance speech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> prepared. <laughs> <laughs> you listen, all you gotta do is thank the little people. That's, that's what everybody else- <laughs> So, uh, but there's no better way to celebrate a hundred episodes than been than having a rock and roll OG legend. <laughs> better. Talk, he's gonna come talk to us and he's gonna play one of his hits. So Julie, please introduce today's guest. We are thrilled to have a rock legend with us today. He was the frontman and guitarist for one of the biggest rock and roll bands of the 1970s, Grand Funk Railroad. Hits like I'm Your Captain, Closer to Home, We're an American Band, The Locomotion, Some Kind of Wonderful. These are epic classic rock staples to this day. His new DVD from Chili with Love releases later this spring. And in fact, like Chief said, stick around because I have a really good feeling he's going to play live for the military community watching today. He also has a really big heart for the men and women who serve our nation. Please help us give a warm Chief Chat welcome to Mark Farner. Hey. Glad to be here with y'all. I wouldn't rather be no place else. (laughs) Awesome. <laughs> well thanks so much for joining us for everybody watching drop a note in the comments uh share your love with mark there we'll read your questions and comments live throughout the broadcast now is a great time to start your watch party so you can enjoy this live interview with your friends and if you're not following our page you should because chief chats are every week and we have great military exclusive guests coming up for you wow. So, Mark, man, thank you so much for joining us today. How you doing? Good, Chief. I am proud to be sucking air today and proud to be with such good company. Absolutely. Aww. Listen, sucking air is a wonderful thing. I can tell you that from experience. <laughs> <laughs> so we're thrilled to have you with us. Just know this means so much to our service members, our military families, and our veterans to have you with us to boost morale today. So can you tell us where you're calling us from? From Petoskey, Michigan. It is in the tip of the mitt, the lower peninsula of Michigan, but it's 36 miles from the bridge that connects the upper and lower peninsulas. I'm on the Lake Michigan shoreline side, and I'm about four miles from the lake as the crow flies. <laughs> that sounds really cold there. That's, that sounds really it does. Cold. It sounds really cold. Like my feet are freezing after you even made that introduction. <laughs> It was minus four this morning at four o'clock when I got up. So, you know, it's Michigan, it's winter. <laughs> you can keep it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll send this with, we'll send this Michigan weather back up there from Texas. You can have it. Yes. So, so <laughs> well, Mark, how have you been doing during the pandemic? Oh, I've been doing great. I've been uh, doing some Zoom videos and uh, stuff like, you know, to stay busy musically. But my wife, Lisa, and I, we planted a garden this year that was beyond 
we haven't gardened in 40 years. I'm serious. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, really, gang, I, I, I'm usually out all summer long, and I ain't got time to come and weed the garden. But this <laughs> past summer, we had all the time to do that, and it was bountiful. We put that stuff up in mason jars. We canned it. We froze it. We dehydrated it, and we <laughs> threw it out. So, so we got food, you know, coming out. It's good. It what, can go back us in. We good. <laughs> so what, what you got in the garden? I'm curious. <laughs> Corn. We had squash. We had tomatoes, asparagus, strawberries, uh, peas, beans, all kind of beans. I'm a bean fiend. I, <laughs> I like pole beans. I like bush beans. Ain't a bean I don't like. And so we had a ton of beans this year. And that, and so you get your protein, <laughs> you're getting a lot of the beans, uh, but we had pumpkins and we had zucchini Ooh. squash, we had the acorn squash and we had carrots and um, it just goes on and on and on. But next year, <clears throat> my wife, she's been studying on companion planting. You can, certain things do better, like corn does better when it's got squash got squash planted in there with it. It just does better. They like each other. So she's studying this stuff and I'm trusting her. Well, we've been together, married for 43 years. I better trust her. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're saying all the right things. <laughs> Chief. Hey, so so to the viewers, if you're looking for the produce section, just go to Mark's house because he, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> And it's organic, it's heirloom variety seeds. So we can take the seeds from our tomatoes we got this year and plant them next year. And we get the wow. same heirloom. Well, that's awesome. Oh, I yeah. like that. You yeah. have <laughs> That's excellent. Yeah. So Mark, can you tell us about your connection to the military? understand your dad was a world war ii hero and your mom was the first woman welder to work on sherman tanks can you Dang. tell us more about that my dad was a tank driver in the seventh armored division delton frederick farner mm -hmm. he returned home with four bronze stars and wow. a very blessed man because a lot of the tank drivers didn't even get to see a second battle those mm -hmm. the tanks were uh, inferior uh, to the panzers. They were just, you know, it, it would take three Shermans to take out a panzer. I, I used to listen to my dad talk. But my mother was the first woman in the United States to weld on Sherman tanks at Fisher Body in Flint, Michigan. And I remember that picture on Flint Journal. Here's my mom standing on a Sherman tank She's got her helmet tipped back. She got her striker in her right hand and she's giving it this. It's like, we can do this, you know? Uh, that into me. I'm so proud of my mother for having been that woman because when my dad died, I was nine years old. If I didn't get a lot of, you know, dad from mm -hmm. that point on, but what I did get was how much she loved him and what a loyal woman god rest her soul mm -hmm. wow. a little emotional when i talk mm -hmm. about it. oh thank you for sharing that with us that's amazing i know she's she, she, and, and excuse my friend she sounds like a badass and so <laughs> <laughs> yeah she has six kids and she would kill for any one of them. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. So we also- Mama know, bear. <laughs> absolutely. So we also know you have a special connection to Vietnam era vet, uh, veterans as well. So a few years back, you performed the classic, I'm your captain closer to home at a ceremony honoring the 25th anniversary of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington. So uh, why was being a part of that ceremony so special for you? Well, they called me, uh, Chief. They said, can you, bring your guitar and sing your song um, at this uh, 25th anniversary of the war memorial. And I said, well, you know, yeah. I mean, he told me, he says, you know, we took uh, a vote and your song is the most popular song among Vietnam veterans. 
and this is of the Vietnam Veterans of America, who we had previously done a gig with these guys back in the 70s. Um, mm -hmm. We did Guitar Army at Harpo's in Detroit. And there was Dick Wagner from the Alice Cooper band. There was Rob Tyner from MC5. There was Randy California. There was, oh, there was just all these people uh, giving love to our troops. And we had a lot of non-vets then, but it's the same people. Keith King, uh, God bless him, uh, has kept it going and kept it uh, growing, has kept it growing so it can serve more people. And this, when we got that invite, I said, listen, if you guys are going to have a, a stage and lights, he says, oh, yeah, we got the PA, we got everything. I said, dude, I'll tell you what, it won't cost you a cent. I'm going to bring the band. We're going to give you a full show. And he just couldn't believe that uh, we would drive over there in the tour bus and do this. But we did. And then 36 degree weather, wow. I'm mm. room, warming up my hands on the light bulb around a mirror. <laughs> I'm thinking, how am I going to get these fingers to work out there? Mm. You know? <laughs> but we, when we played our, our set and when we got to I'm Your Captain, it wasn't just the American uh, Vietnam veterans who were there. It was also our Canadian brothers and sisters who were there. And when I went into it, whew, it's like trying to sing with a softball in your neck because every eye was tearing up. Every person was hugging another person. I'm telling you, it's uh, this is what music does. And the love that is in that song I prayed for that song. When I went to bed that night and I said, by now I lay me down to sleep prayer, I put a PS on the end and I said, God, please give me a song that would reach and touch those you want to get to. So God gave me that song three o'clock in the morning. I didn't know it was a song until I got up the following morning. I go out, I got my coffee on the table. I'm looking at the horses out in the pasture. I reach over, I grab my George Washburn guitar, man, I start playing this. Uh, you know, it just came out like I went, dang, that's kind of, and then I did, I did this. That, that C chord, that, I had never played it that way before. And what, why did I play it that way that morning? It was to go along with I went, oh my God, maybe them words are actually a song. So I go in, I grab my legal pad, I bring it back out, I sit on a table and I start playing. Yeah. 
goes into the orchestration and all that pretty stuff but i don't have my violins with me today folks <laughs> no that was great we'll oh, take that that was, that was wonderful oh my goodness thank you we we loved that thank you for sharing it i just want to take a second and read some comments um chief's page over here we have um don saying hey mark and is it Le lisa is yeah. that your wife how is you spelled say it lisa yeah, L-E-S-I-A, but yes. it's, yeah, it's pronounced Lisa. <laughs> okay, so you have Don saying hi to you and Lisa. Hi, um, Heidi, Heidi says, good morning, Mark. And then Jackie says, this is the best, in all caps, song ah. ever. Love hearing how it was written. Thank you. I appreciate those. Dan says, greetings from Nebraska. Yeah, I love Nebraska. That's where my publicist is from. And yes, I am from there too. So good people in Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark, um, you've also been honored in the past by the Vietnam Veterans of American President's Award for Excellence in the Arts. What did this honor mean to you? Well, coming from the people it comes from, anything like this, to me, it's it's better uh, than if I was to be nominated to get in the Rock Hall. You know, this is more important to me to have these kind of recognitions from the people that I love and the people that I wish to serve than it than it is to get my name in the phony rock hall that is not by uh, the, the public uh, vote. It's not by the public popularity that you get in there. It's by that little brown ring you get around your lips. <laughs> we don't have that brown ring and we don't bow to that guy. Uh, so for me, this makes my life. It makes me happy. It means I'm doing what I need to be doing, what I should be doing. Absolutely. So uh, can you talk to us about uh, From Chili With Love, your DVD that's set to release April the 6th? Yes. As a matter of fact, From Chile With Love was recorded in Santiago, Chile at Teatro Caupalican. It was a theater in the round sort of and when we came out on the stage, the audience just lifted us with waves of emotion and their voices and the, and the, the chants they got into, like it's say we were uh, a soccer team or something. Oh, you know, <laughs> and they, man, they get going. And as soon as we hit the downbeat and I'm doing, are you ready? Uh, it's like, this the audience is singing it as loud as I'm singing it. They're taking over the PA and it's caught on videotape. We got 16 live performance tracks on this tape and on the DVD. I call it tape because I'm an old guy. But <laughs> what I'm saying 16 tracks. We have two bonus videos, one of which is available right now at markfarner.com for a free download of rock and roll soul go there and besides the two bonus videos we have five bonus songs five new songs on this dvd so for 14.99 such a deal <laughs> <laughs> well, and clearly you were born to perform for people and you've been doing it for decades. So I imagine the pandemic, it, it has to be pretty rough. So how is your interaction and connection with your fans? How has that changed over the last year? It slowed down. <laughs> yeah, because it was only by this and, you know, and my website. But when you're used to uh, the fans applauding and you're used to hearing 
the noise that happens when you hit that last chord in that song, it just juices you up for that next song and you can't hardly wait to get it out. But when you're doing these uh, video things, you play that last, oh, there ain't shit happening. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, it is dead silent. <laughs> That's something you got to get used to right away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, but we're going to show you some love. Hey, we, hey, let it last call. Yes. We tried, we tried really hard to clap really loud to, was, you know, yeah. simulate a big audience. But... <laughs> Maybe someday we'll get like sophisticated and we can have like an, a button to have like clapping and audience sounds. <laughs> Can somebody make that happen for us? <laughs> we'll get on that after the show. <laughs> Can I add one more comment to the uh, DVD from Chase? Yeah, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Out of that $14.99, that real good price, $3. Lisa and I give $3 from every DVD to the Veterans Support Foundation. Veterans Support Foundation helps veterans that are returning to this country to get back into the society, to get them off the streets and put them in. Sometimes they put them in homes with other veterans who are trying to get a life back and, and get back in and fit into some society somehow. And Lisa and I, we said, you know, this is such, it speaks for us, such a charity, man. I mean, how could we pick a better charity? So we said, $3 from every DVD is going to Veterans Support Foundation. If, if you know of a vet that needs help, if you know of any veterans who need somebody to advocate for them so they can get what they got coming to them, get a hold of Veterans Support Foundation. It's 800-882-1316. That's toll free, 800-882-1316. Give them a holler. Wow. Well, thanks for doing that. So you have your DVD from Chile with Love. What is ahead for you? Any other projects or plans that you can share with us? Yes, I've been writing some music uh, with Jim Peterick from the Ides of March. He wrote, uh, you know, uh, I'm your vehicle, baby. Yes. <laughs> go. And he wrote, uh, I have the tiger. Bop. Oh, I didn't know he wrote that. Yeah, and uh, oh yeah, he's a he's a heartfelt uh, soul man. He's got a family, and he loves them, and he loves to uh, bring out the emotion to to bring it out of another person that he's writing with, and and we just work good together. I'm also uh, setting up a session to write with Mark Slaughter. If you know Mark Slaughter, that a rocker, uh, you know, tears his guitar up. Uh, and he is part Native American himself, as I am part Cherokee uh, on my mother's side. So uh, we're going to mix it up good. And I'm, I'm looking for some uh, good music to come out of our writing session together. I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a Huckabee show in April. Um, that's going to that's gonna be good because uh, Governor Huckabee, he's going to be playing the bass on whatever music I'm doing, so. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's awesome, awesome. So uh, Mark, you got a very, very captive audience with us uh, at Chief Chat today. We got soldiers, we got airmen, guardians, Marines, sailors, and Coast Guard members and their military families watching, friends. So uh, what words of inspiration or thanks do you have for all the heroes out there? Inspiration is debt consciousness let me let me let me explain when i died seven years ago i went to heaven i didn't want to come back but i knew i was coming back into the bone suit and i said shit i gotta go back i came back kicking but on the way in the re-entry into this bone suit i was given this like pair of big glasses that I saw the plague of the earth is debt consciousness but show me a box of it go to the drugstore buy a box of debt so I can look through there and see 
or back a dump truck up and dump me a load in the front yard. I want to wade through it so I can get real familiar with it. See, it's all imaginary debt. Think about this debt. Uh, the word, the Bible says, oh, no man, anything except to love them. Then you're going to have a free mind. You are in control of that mind. But the minute you become beholden to someone or indebted to something, you have left the strength of your power that puts you here and that takes you from here. You are a spirit in a bone suit. Remember that. You're leaving someday, but you're going back. You're going back because love is unconditional. That's what I want to say to you. Oh, I love that. You're right. Love is unconditional and it's something we all need and can all use a lot of right now. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, um, nice. Wanted to also just take a couple minutes to look at our live feed and share some of the comments that are coming in. Um, cool. Caroline says, thank you everyone who is on for your service. So she's just thanking everybody for their service. Somebody else had a comment. Um, she also says, thank you so much for your parent service. God knows without them, our country wouldn't be what it is today. So she's going back to the earlier part of the conversation. Um, Barbara Bearden Edmond says, Harpo's in Detroit. Oh, the memories. So <laughs> you struck a chord there. Um, Chris Ward said he is so stinking fired up about this, about this chat. Um, so Chris is a clearly a, a big fan so Chris. we have Chris, on chiefs oh, oh sorry julie oh no go ahead do you have one more on chiefs page on chiefs page franco says he was there at and i'm not going to get this word right at all so i'm just going to apologize in advance teatro say it for me mark Caupolican. yes Caupolican. yep you got it Caupolican. okay so yeah. franco's watching and he says he was there all right. That's Franco. fun. Yay, Franco. That's really cool. He's awesome. <laughs> He'll have to get the DVD <laughs> so he can relive it. Um, so he can see yeah, himself exactly. on the DVD. Yeah. And then we we do have a question. Chris comes back with a question. He says, big music festivals were a staple of the 60s and 70s. What's the most impressive billing you've ever been a part of? Good question, Chris. Oh, that's a good question, Chris. Yeah, it was... Uh, the first Atlanta Pop Festival in 1969 that included uh, Joplin, uh, The Doors, uh, uh, 10 Years After, uh, 10 Wheel Drive, uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, oh my God, the list just goes on and on and on. And we were an unknown band <laughs> in Michigan. We didn't have a record yet. But the lawyers out of New York City that were doing the legal work for this particular festival were our manager's lawyers and our lawyers. So they made a deal with the festival folks that if their band was able to open this show, we would go on and play for free. And so, and they would get a reduced legal fee. So they <laughs> got it. And, and we borrowed our friend's van. It's a window van. We put a U-Haul trailer on the back and we boogie down to Atlanta, Georgia. And the, the trailer flipped on the way. The, uh, it just was crazy oh, what wow. we had to go through to get there. Well, but the, uh, we got another U-Haul trailer and switched all the stuff around in there. But some of the transformers had torn right off the chassis of the amplifiers. And the wires were just kind of sticking out there like, oh. And I said, how the hell are we going to do this? And they, and every other roadie that was there for all these other bands, this is back when we were all family. And all those roadies, there must have been 20 roadies coming. Boom, they're, they're soldering, they're, they're gluing, they're taping, they're putting our shit together, man, to get up on that stage. And, and we just made it. They, they put stuff up there. And I mean, here's a transformer sitting over to the side of the amp with the wires going in. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> But it worked, wow. we went out, and we played to 185,000 people, and oh they, they enjoyed this band from Flint, Michigan, and what they, what they really enjoyed was the last song of our first set there, which just made them uh, call us back, 
that made us go back for encore after encore. It was Wilson Pickett's Land of a Thousand Dances. And I, <laughs> I took my guitar and baby, I was just a dance. I was all, <laughs> all over that stage. Mm -hmm. And they loved it. And so this old band, uh, the grand fun, he, the guy that brought us on, he never said, in three days, he never said the name of the band correctly. He said, Grand Frank Railway and some other guy, I, I don't know. <laughs> but it was, a, it's still a good memory in my mind. And that lineup, I mean, how can you beat that lineup? This is <laughs> real music and with real musicians, you know, living the life. And here you are today. Yeah, how about that? Great memory. Great question, Chris. Thank you. And great, great answer. Love that. Yeah, it sounded it sounded like he had MacGyver as the roadie, man. Because they were putting you know, <laughs> MacGyver. <laughs> yeah. Superman. That. that was great. That's a, and everybody, I say everybody, but I like to think everybody in the music business is family. Like y'all think, you know, everybody in the service with you is family. We, this is how we refer to each other and this, and there ain't nothing uh, stopping us from helping one another. In fact, we love it when our brother or our sister needs help because then we can do what we love to do and it shows up as love, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It really does. Well, Mark, this has been an absolutely fantastic chat. Before we say goodbye though, uh, where can our viewers go to find out find you on social media so they can keep up with all you're working on and then remind us where we can find from Chile with love. It's both places, markfarner.com. It's Mark Farner's American band from Chile with love. Uh, and it will be released April 6th, but all pre-sales will come autographed by yours truly. I'm getting a stack of them today. I'm getting a thousand today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's I'm going to work, uh, going to have them all done up. And, uh, and for the people that want to just keep up with where we're at on the road, go there and check out the, the live sets and, uh, and see the calendar where we, we're at. We are getting some dates this year. They've been slow coming in, but we are, mm -hmm. we are taking dates. I just took three yesterday. So. Oh, that's great news. Congratulations. Yeah. That's so exciting. Yes, yeah. Love to hear that. I appreciate it. Well, Mark, man, you have been such an awesome, just amazing spirit, man. You're, you, like, I don't know what what happened where you left your skeleton suit, but I'm glad you're back in your skeleton suit for, for the day. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> and, and and it's always um uh, it's always makes me makes me feel good to know that uh you got your unwavering support for the military community. Uh, so we we appreciate you, and even when you decide to leave your skeleton suit for however long your music will live forever, man. And your voice is still as good as it was, you know, 60 years ago. So uh, just keep doing what you're doing and we definitely appreciate you. We're gonna support you here on Chief Chat. Um, and thank you for uh, boosting the spirits of our military community around the globe. Yeah, man, it is my pleasure. It's my honor. It is my honor. Absolutely. So thanks, Mark. And uh, you, we wish you all the best and y'all go check out from Chile with, what, your DVD that's coming out from Chili with, with, with Love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now have a good one. Thank you. God bless y'all. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Chief Bye. Chat Chief out. Chat out. <laughs>